All right, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today is June 22nd. It's uh, Tuesday, so I had an excellent day. Pretty happy about it. Today I'm up uh, 1,178 bucks, so a good green day for me. Um, that's That's a pretty good day, and I like to keep those going as long as I can. So Yesterday was a little bit of a struggle, only up 242 bucks, but I did recover from the red yesterday, I went green, uh, and today is even better because I never went red on the day. Now, I did struggle quite a bit, but, uh, you know, made the best of it, did what I could, and today's big winner was on ALF, so ALF. Uh, this one was really great. Uh, currently it's up 108%, so a really good run on the day, and it just had this continuous run, which is really, really impressive, and because of ALF, I was able to, you know, get a thousand plus bucks today, so uh, good stuff on this one, and however, it did, um... It did get pretty crowded, but I mean, once again, it had a continuous run up. I had a couple pullback areas. I shouldn't say continuous run because there were some pullback areas. And uh, anyways, it was a good one to trade. So let's look at the performance for today. I'll show you how I did. Uh, started green, up eight bucks first trade. And from there, just uh, I, I did tons of trades today, tons of scalp trades. And today, I really wish I would have um, held my winners. I have this problem of, it's part of my strategy, though. Uh, get into it just a little bit here. But I really need to focus on, you know, part of my strategy is that I, I scalp trade because I like the risk factor of getting in and out and not holding something and waiting for it to correct or waiting for it to go up and just be stuck in the position for you know for more than 5 10 15 20 minutes i like to keep it short and sweet and just use a little bit higher capital take a trade and go in for a scalp trade and and put that profit on the table and then you know go and rinse and repeat kind of a thing but there's a lot of opportunities in in here on alf today where you know had i got into a position and just held it i would have been probably up way more than i would have uh today but it's tough because sometimes you, you have to pick a strategy and and go for it and stick with it you know sometimes be bouncing around on strategies is not necessarily a good thing because you play this mind game of like, well, this trade didn't work out for me. I'll just turn this into either a swing trade or a hold this longer. And uh, in my experience, that's not typically a good way to go to be bouncing around in strategy. So I guess I got to give myself some credit. I just need to, because um, I did scalp trade and I'm green today and I'm up a good amount. So, but I do in regards to that, even if I'm still scalping, maybe hold it just a little bit longer on my winners because I would I would sell them off pretty quickly. But that was guaranteeing my profit, my um, my green, and I just kept doing that. So sometimes I get eh, I get crossed up in my positions, and I tell myself I need to do something uh, when sometimes I don't. But you kind of bounce around sometimes. That, that's just I think how trading goes, especially day trading and small small cap um trading uh, but hey if, if maybe you're not a scalp trader and you, you hold those longer positions that might be a better strategy for you or it does well for you so either way i'm happy with today's performance uh yeah alp was pretty um pretty interesting lots of um momentum to the upside but as you can see, there wasn't a, a ton of uh, massive big green candles. There were a couple moments where we did have some big moves. This was a um, interesting one for me. Um, I'll just yeah dive go ahead and dive into the, this trade because there's a lot of areas in here that I struggled with. So 
at this point, I'm realizing I don't want to go chasing things and I need to make sure, you know, in this range at this point in time, we were pretty high up and it's, it's hard when things get extended like this, this is a huge line up and sometimes they get tricky because they peak out like right in here and then they fall and then it looks like it's going to be downhill from this um, candle here and yet it corrects and then pushes even further. So these areas can get tricky and look at this, there's just a nice constant move up, but tricky areas all within. And then you get to the top here and thinking, okay, this thing could push even further, but then you'd be wrong on this part and uh, take a huge loss on this. So you, it, a lot of these areas were, were tricky. You had to be careful. And there were just frustrating times like this where had I, I had gotten in when I saw this big green candle initially move up, I'm thinking, okay, let me hop in, but let me look at resistance areas. And I'm thinking, okay, it could it just as easy as it pops up in certain sections, it could go right back down. So I'm conscious of that. At the same time, if I don't hop into some of these moves, they just kind of go without me. And that's what, there was a lot of that that happened today. Like right in here, we moved up two huge candles got to this nice position so i'm thinking okay where can i get in where can i get out and this was difficult so like we're, we're it feels like we're extended on this on this side um if i hop in it's just got to be a quick scalp trade so i did that pulls back a little bit thinking it might be you know gonna break further down it surprises me and it shoots up the other way and so uh, then, you know, you're trying to chase this and thinking, okay, this could push through, but then it could have another flash down. Um, and it just continues. So this was a very, very impressive move. And I had to just try to get in, get out. And um, like I said, I wish I would have held the positions a little bit longer. Because um, I would sell out of them so quick, but I just didn't realize, man, the strength on this thing was quite impressive. The, the fact that it could hold this move from here and then you get in this area and you're wondering where the top is and uh this whole area was tricky too because you realize okay as it's forming here you're realizing okay there's definitely resistance in this 1563 area but if we get close to it you know there could be a huge rip out of it from a flat top breakout standpoint so i was thinking about that and trading all within it just too worried that it would flush as well and sure enough look at this it pushes past that 63 area just for a split second and reverses and goes right down huge massive candle there um i lucked out and i didn't get into that position there so that saved me huge that could have been really detrimental but then it you know stabilizes here for just a second and consolidates and then massively rips up so this is a to me this was a super tricky area because here you have just a massive red candle into the downside thinking okay this this thing's done with with that kind of a move this thing is probably down now gonna trend down and it flips positions and just skyrockets so really impressive but once again very tricky uh, at least for me, but um, I still uh, made some trades in here and, and, and made some money on it. So it helped me get even more in the green today. And even after hours, it's uh, continue to ride up here. So who knows where, 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 where this will be tomorrow. Man, this could be, this thing could skyrocket or hey, it could open up tomorrow, um, you know, way down at seven or something crazy. You, you don't know. Uh, but Either way, very, very impressive performance today, and I was able to to make some money on it. Uh, I felt like I could have made a whole lot more um, had I been better with my positions, but hey, it is what it is. Ton of trades on this thing, way too many to go over, but uh, that was my recap for that one. Uh, let's see what else. ALF was the main one today. I mean, probably 99% of my trades today were on ALF. I did have had one trade on ADIL. It was actually my second trade on the day. 
But that was earlier on the day when this thing wasn't breaking out as much. So once it started breaking out more, I focused on it more. But ADIL, you see, had this um, quick move up here, and it just didn't hold it um, and dropped down. But I got a little piece of that. It was like 30 or 40 bucks. And uh, that's all I had for that one. So I'm glad I switched gears and focused on the big mover for today, which was ALF. So um, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Let me show you um, my swing trade with AMC. I always like to show that one before I head out. This um, today, pretty good performance. We, you know, went uphill, but at the same time, when I look, look at the chart here, uh, we're still down from yesterday. Yesterday we started really high and uh, just it was a complete bleed off yesterday. So we're recovering from that. Good performance today, just still holding. This might be a longer trade than I anticipated, but I'm looking forward to break that 65 area, 69 and 73, and hopefully shoot to the moon. But uh, there's probably a lot of manipulation on this one with the uh, hedge funds and the shorting. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at on that one. And before we head out, I'll show you real quickly. That was the performance today, uh, mainly up. But there were a few areas where I was going downhill, but I was able to correct and get out of it. And calendar. So today up 1178 bucks. That puts me on 1420 this week, which is pretty decent. I just need to focus on trying to make, you know, a thousand plus a day. That's that's the goal. I know sometimes that's not realistic. Actually, it is quite a bit until I have a red day and you know, these numbers, you know, a thousand dollars turns into maybe five hundred bucks a day. So you've got to really factor those in and uh, I say this all the time, but like, you know, there's been plenty of times when you're making great money, uh, but you got to factor for two big things. First one being your red days. You got to factor in those those red days. For me, they're pretty drastic, so I do have to cut back my reality of like, oh, I didn't really make a thousand dollars today. I probably only made five hundred, maybe even less than that. Um, because of the red days, and then you also got to factor in taxes. Um, after you, you know, after taxes, this eleven seventy eight day. Now, just with taxes alone, you know, turns into something a lot less. Um, you know, nine hundred bucks, eight hundred. I don't know. I don't know what the. Uh, I have to go back and look at the rate. But uh, yeah, you got to pay your taxes on your uh, on your short term gains and your long term. But that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know how you traded today. Make sure to subscribe and like this. It really helps out with other people, other traders out there trying to either learn um, day trading or wanting to see um, other average traders out there and, and how they do would really help the channel. So I really appreciate it if you could do that. Give this video a like. And it also lets me know that you enjoyed it, and um, I would appreciate that. So that's where we uh, where we sit today, and that's it for now. So um, good luck to you, and we'll see you on the next one tomorrow.